Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64. This is a new features video for Minecraft, and today it's for the newest pre-release snapshot of the game, which is 12W50B. Now, I wasn't able to review the 12W50A snapshot yesterday because I didn't have my laptop with me, and I also didn't have it on Wednesday, so I couldn't do a Happy Wheels video on Wednesday either. And apparently just today, the snapshot had to be updated to 12W50B in order to fix some bugs, so yeah. But I have my laptop back now, so today I will review this snapshot, and I'll also do the uh, Happy Wheels video today as well, so yeah. So first of all, when selecting an item in the inventory, it'll now highlight the name of the item. So as you can see, Gunpowder, Creeper Head, Cobblestone, and Crafting Table, so it actually tells you what the name of the item is. And also, if you were to give the item a custom name by using the Anvil, it'll use the custom name as the highlight. So there you go. The next feature is that fireworks now have sound effects. So there you go. The actual effects of the fireworks have also been tweaked as well. As you can see, when they explode, they emit a flash of light. So yeah, so fireworks finally have sounds now. The next feature is that items, when dropped, will now be rendered in 3D. So as you can see, I dropped a firework rocket there, and as you can see, it's actually being rendered in three dimensions. And here's a whole bunch of other items, diamond sword, diamond helmet, diamond pickaxe, so as you can see, they're all being rendered in three dimensions. Now the interesting fact about the new 3D items, um, apparently the 3D items was originally a mod made by somebody in the Minecraft community. I can't remember his name though. So the new three-dimensional items that are coming soon to vanilla Minecraft is basically another mod add into the game. Which I have no idea why people say that's a bad thing, because I thought that the 3D items mod was a pretty cool mod. I thought it deserved to be in vanilla Minecraft. Now also, as you can see, if you put the graphic settings back on fast, uh, the items will still be rendered in two dimensions, just like they used to be. So yeah, some new three-dimensional items in Minecraft, so yeah. The next feature is that they added a new enchantment called Thorns. Now basically what this item is, is that it can be applied to armor, and if a mob or another player attacks you, the damage that they take will actually be inflicted back to the person that attacked you. And as you can see, the Thorns enchantment only goes up to three levels. So here I have a full set of diamond armor enchanted with Thorns 3, so here's a zombie. Now as you can see, the zombie is actually getting damage, and I'm not even doing anything. So basically when it attacks me, it inflicts the damage back to the zombie. So there you go. But it doesn't inflict the damage back all the time, it'll only occur occasionally. So mobs are still capable of killing you. So as you can see, I actually killed a zombie and I didn't even do anything. So yeah, so that's basically the Thorns enchantment, and this also works on players, so if players attack you, they'll also get damaged as well, occasionally. Now also, another thing with the new uh, 3D items, if you put them in item frames, as you can see, they will also be rendered in three dimensions. Another feature with the new 3D items is that they'll now show their enchantments. So as you can see, I dropped my diamond helmet with Thorns 3, and as you can see, it's glowing, which means that it's enchanted. Another new thing with dropping items is that if you press Control Q, it'll now drop an entire stack of items. So there you go. So the Q button is usually used to just drop one item, but Control Q can now be used to drop an entire stack of items, depending on how many items are actually in the stack. They've apparently added some new Christmas textures for chess, and the textures names in question are xmaschess.png, largexmaschess.png, and skis.png. And here's what the Xmas chest and large Xmas chest textures look like in the game. So they're basically chests, although they're kind of in the shape of Christmas presents. And apparently the game is supposed to automatically use these textures for chests on December 25th, which is Christmas Day. But if you don't want to wait that long and want to use the textures right now, just change xmaschest.png to chest.png and large xmaschest.png to large chest.png and it'll automatically use the uh, new textures for the chest right away, so yeah. And as far as I know, that's pretty much everything that they've added in the 12W50A snapshot, and the 12W50B snapshot just fixes some bugs, so yeah. But some of the bugs that 12W50B does fix include fix item desynchronization bug when using chests and other containers, fix mobs getting stuck when hit by players, flaming arrows take a bit to flame, tool highlight shows when item stack changes, null pointer exception when pressing control Q with nothing in your hand, Zombies sometimes stop attacking. Unbreaking does not work on armor. Opening a GUI, or user interface, will show the item name in the hotbar again. An enchanted item bug in 3D, apparently. 
and can remove partial XP bars from the XP minus 1L command when you're between level 0 and 1. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this new features video then. So if you want to download the new snapshot, the link's in the description. And you can also purchase this game at Minecraft.net, so yeah. So anyway, that was a new features video for 12W50B. This is Dr. Robotnik64, thank you for watching. And if you want, feel free to like or favorite this video, or maybe even subscribe. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. And the link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one. So yeah, but that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video that I make. Later.